Hello everyone, I'm Zoberific, and welcome back to the Minecraft video. Now, we're back on the Xbox One edition, and you're wondering why. Well, today, I was kind of bored, and I was looking at some of my worlds, and I was like, you know what? It would be a good idea to just look back at through all these worlds. And it's like, ignoring the maps that I downloaded, like the maps that I always used to work on manually with my friends and stuff, I'm like, you know what? There's quite a lot of stuff that I worked on and never finished. So, as you can see, I have all these worlds here. I kind of just skipped down. But yeah, it's all these worlds from top to bottom. And some of them aren't finished, so I decided, you know what? Let me just look back at them and see which maps I haven't finished. Now, this is just all the stuff that I have saved on my Xbox One. I don't know if I have any 360 saves that, uh, you know, aren't finished, but too lazy to get the 360 out just to transfer saves to my Xbox One. I gotta go all the way to my attic, then I gotta bring it downstairs, I gotta hook it up to, like, the Ethernet cable, whatever, and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna look through these saves and we're gonna look at my old worlds that I haven't finished. So let's get started. Okay, the first world we have here is a lucky block challenge. So I can already remember. <laughs> if you, let me, let me actually, let me not say anything first. I'll just open the world. I'm gonna go in creative and just look at this. Do you, just by looking at this stuff, do you uh, get what I was trying to build? And if you haven't guessed, I was trying to build you might recognize that skin. Might be dead a giveaway, and my generators went off. Sorry if you hear any background noise. But I was trying to build a uh, popular MMO's um, mob arena. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. So you know, to how the floor had lights and it had this pattern. It's like I was working on it, and I just started like just messing around. I got, I guess, like it was like too much work, and I just got bored. Cause I used to play, I used to play this even when it wasn't even done. So I just got lazy, and I just played this with my brother. Here's the little trays because we don't have custom villages on console. The villages here are just for looks. This is like a trading system. And where's the lucky blocks? Uh, yep, it's right here. So I break that. Wait for the item frames to come. It's like I try to use the signs to cover the item frame. Oh wait, tile drops it off. Hold on. As you can see, you use the signs to cover up the items. So you can get some type of mystery, but some some blocks and heads like just pierce through it. So yeah, that's what I was trying to reference. You have a whole uh. uh Gaming with Jen statue, enchantment place over there, and yeah, this is what I was trying to build. It brings up memories. It was like one of like my first major builds I got when I uh, first got my Xbox One. It was like back in 2016. It's like five years ago. That's crazy. But yep, on to the next world. Okay, the next map we have here is Dead Prison. I was trying to recreate a adventure map that I saw Dan TDM and Thanksia plays back in the day. So it's like I like the adventure map, but. I was sad that there wasn't a console version. Actually, let me just go creative and show you. So yeah, this is the spawn of the toilet, and I had uh, the signs here, the, the, the rules and stuff like that. So in here, you have to find the key. I'm pretty sure the key was in the toilet. Yep. And you got the hard brick and the keys. And basically, you would just go around this map and try. Actually, let me get that real quick. Maybe maybe we can just play a little bit of the map. Yeah, I'll just for some adventure we can play a little bit just for old times' sake. So we got the prison here, we got some keys. Let me make sure tile drops. I think tile drops supposed to be off, but eh, I'll just leave it. So we use the key to get into rooms and just look for stuff. We have some bread, we have the helmet, we have a bat, you know, it's custom items and custom enchantments. So, yeah. A lot of the items and stuff is based off the regular map. Check the room, see if I can remember where everything was. An iron helmet that's like halfway broken. I'm pretty sure there's a disc in here, what the takes is this? It's 13. Yeah, the, the super scary disc. I think so. I think it is. Use this key to come in here. Oh, there's a creeper down here. And yeah, I can control. I want it to be dark, but I want it to also be zombies. But I can't. There's not really like a plug-in for the Xbox One version to like make only zombie spawn in the world. So I just thought it'd be cooler to just let mob spawn and just get rid of a uh, what is it called? Mob griefing? Yeah, take mob griefing off. Okay, let me just get this uh, creeper out the way. I actually can't use a bat because it's, the creeper's not undead, so it wouldn't have, you know, deal much damage to the creeper. Oh, let's try a heartbreak on the, the skeleton because, yep, it's undead. Only dead in two hits. And plus, it has, like, no durability. Yeah, that's why I took the, the mob griefing off, so when creepers explode, you want to explode, like, blocks and chests and stuff like that. So you got a super dark prison. I'm sorry if you guys can't see anything. I'm pretty sure it's, like, a light system here. So if we come back here... Uh, there should be light, yep. We have warning high voltage, and basically that just turns on all the lights here. You know, some weird uh, lighting glitches here. We got another key, so let's open this little thing. Get our 
cricket bat ready. I was gonna make some parkour to get to the chest, but then I just realized that I just butt my head here. So I just placed the chest there and just left it there. So what do we have? We have a bomb with instant damage, we have a toxic gas bomb, and we have a baseball bat instead of a cricket bat. So the only difference with the baseball bat and the cricket bat is that this has unbreaking and smite, not just knockback. And just eat some of this leftover cake. This is supposed to be a cafeteria too, but I guess I just made one table and just placed a cake on there and got lazy. You have like these three chests back here with some bread, an apple, and a carrot, but we have like more pieces of food. Oh shoot, there's an enderman here. Alright, um, let me just get you out the way. Actually, let me see my hard brick. I just think it's hilarious. Let me get this enemy out the way. I'm gonna beat him with my baseball bat. Is he gonna come after me? Nope. Okay, I don't have my headphones plugged in, so I can't really hear the in-game sounds. I should probably do that on the next map, just in case I try to do something like this. Okay, so here's the proper cafeteria. I'll watch my back because this is, like, still three blocks high. And I can still teleport in here. I remember this. Make sure I'm not on peaceful. So, yeah, the guards are office. And you have a, a light here, so you press it. It gives the zombie strength, but <laughs> it also gives you strength because you're like close to it. So just hit the zombie. I'm pretty sure we got a, if we did a critical hit on him, we could have killed him in one blow. But guard has this stuff, so let me read what that is. So we have another baseball bat, because this is supposed to be like a multiplayer map, not just a map you play by yourself. We have a military vex for protection four. We have another key. I'm gonna keep my uh, Kevlar Kevlar helmet on. I think that's how you pronounce it, just because. And we have painkillers which is just instant health and the bomb is supposed to be for other entities around the map because you know when you use instant damage potion on zombies it just heals them we have the lunch money so you open that and you got a paper with trollololo but for some reason oh i think the redstone's broken hold on because once this was supposed to be a trap chest and once you opened it uh mobs are supposed to spawn hold on yeah it's supposed to be mob supposed to be the mobs supposed to be spawning but that's all. I think something broke. But let me just uh, patch this back up. You guys didn't see nothing. Luckily, I wasn't in uh, survival there because the creeper would have blown me up. Alright. So, the key that we got from the guard's office, they opened that. But also, this is back here with all this blood and stuff on the ground. We have a hatchet. Oh, my brother's online. He's playing the Xbox upstairs. We have golden apple and some cake. And this is a random anvil. So, let's continue onwards. Alright. We have... You know, little outside view. It's supposed to be like a whole prison yard, but since I didn't finish it, it's kind of just empty. But to sell blocks B and C, I'll just place a cake down. Get my hatchet ready. So it's the same amount of damage as a diamond sword. And it's dark again. Let's just run past these mobs. I'm going to turn on the light so you guys can see better. And come back here. Surprisingly, there's no mob spawning. We got another high vo warning high voltage thing. Okay, let's kill this. Oh, are they fighting each other? Okay, well, you, got, you guys do that. Let me get the slime out the way. You guys are annoying. Um... I'm pretty sure we, there's like, we can get keys from somewhere, but, yeah. Oh, guy's done. Alright, so let me hit you. Boom. Oh, he dropped a whole boat, too. Nice. Alright, what is this? Um, prisoner Smail. The light's supposed to be lighting up, but the lighting on this uh, console version is just messed up. And we get these guys out of the way, because they're making noise, and it's annoying. So, Prisoner Mail. Oh, okay. So, somebody sent us a wooden shovel. Anything else? We got a cake. What else? We have an enchanted book. A protection for. How, how is this allowed? I guess it's just for the guards to get it and infiltrate it before they give it to the prisoners. Oh well. We got a spider back here. Oh, actually, I need my hatchet. Ow. There we go. Let's eat some more of my cake that I placed down. We have a little prison yard here. We got another enderman. Um, Alright. It's going to come back? No? Wait. Okay. So we have some furnaces with some chicken and a pork chop. This is like, you know, where they like come out in the yard to like do work and like just break rocks. We have some pickaxes here. <laughs> Silk touch pickaxes. So we use that to break that and we just put it in the furnace, but we need something to smelt the thing, so I guess we'll just use one like you use bow. And put that in there. Just because oh we can't even put it in there. We'll just use a shovel. Don't nearly need it. I know we're supposed to get a key from somewhere, but if I'm not mistaken, I guess we can just use the pickaxe. Let me just look around one more time. See if we're not missing anything. There's nothing in there. Make sure to come back here. There's nothing. No hidden chest or whatever. Because it's not. I guess we can just use the pickaxe to break these doors. That could be it. Okay, what do we have? We have Potion of Swiftness. I'll just pop that right now. 
Okay, I'll get this back in my inventory. Actually, no, we're gonna use this instead. Okay, we have a hopper with another baseball bat. And we have in this chest another baseball bat, and we have orange jumpsuit that's almost broken. So I guess it's supposed to be part of the prisoner jumpsuit that those zombies would be wearing in the actual adventure map. Because in the PC version, you know, you can like make mobs spawn with certain like armor pieces and weapons or whatever. And we just got a zombie head and some redstone in there to, I guess, indicate blood. And I don't know if we were supposed to get a key from somewhere, but since I'm, I can't remember from like all these years later, we're just gonna use the pickaxe to break through the iron door. Whoa. Okay, it's loud here. Oh, we got a jockey here. Hold on. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's, there's a whole bunch of mobs here. Whoa, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Get this up, baby zombie, because he's going to be the, the most threatening. You know, golden apple before we die here. Whoa, there's a lot of baby zombies. Baby zombie jockeys. Okay, got him out the way. Okay, use our hatchet to get these guys out the way. Okay, he killed the zombie, so that's nice. We have a whole bunch of mobs here. Oh, I remember this, so if we... If these guys can move, actually. Get them out the way. <sighs> yep. As you can see, there's a boat here. But this was before they changed the boat update, because there was like a little thing where you can actually access the boats, even though they'd be covered by a carpet. So, let me go and create it real quick. And yeah, there's supposed to be a boat here. This is the old boat, not the ones with the paddles. And you just like use this to make your way to the, the, the end over there. Okay, what is in here? We have a chain chest plate, we have firework, and we have another potion of healing. Okay, I'll just use this to get rid of some stuff that I don't need. Alright, come back here, switch back to adventure, and check this little- this is like a little basketball court, I don't- I can't remember why there's like so many animals here. But, we have some fire charges, and what else? We have a guard's baton, so... It's just another knockback weapon. Oh, and a smite too, I guess, to help fight against undead mobs. Okay, this is the part I remember. This is the part I remember I, uh, I stopped the map, like, stopped creating the map on. I don't even realize, I don't even know if this is, like, like, true to the original map. I think I just started working on stuff randomly. I did quite a number on me. Let me take my painkiller. Boom. Just gonna use this pick. So let me just go and create it and speed this up. It just hit me. I was. I think there's a skeleton, maybe. I don't know. Okay, so we just have a little thing here. We have some food, some bedding. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Oh, we have another chest. A medical smoke bomb, and we have a night vision, so I'll use that right now to help you guys see better. What's in here? Another music disc, got some more bedding, no chests. Okay, the generator just went off, so hopefully you guys can hear me better. We have a suit, somebody just died here, got beheaded. Anything to hopper? Just a water bottle. Anything in furnace? We had a clownfish, a puffer fish, and some pork chops. What's this? Oh, just a spawn stuff. We got some blood on the, the crafting table. Alright, let's see what's in the other part. A little cactus thing. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Can't remember. I guess I was still working on something. It was just an empty room with some. Oh, here's the stuff that I used to. Use to. You know, build the map. Like the main I, uh, ingredients that I used to make this map. And that's where I stopped building this map. Yeah, it was nice to come back after all these years, but here's like the outside. You see the redstone over there. And I worked on this by myself, by the way, so I'm pretty proud of it. I, you know, worked on the map this long and put stuff into to this, you know, just to stop here. It's sad that it won't be finished. I don't plan on finishing it anytime soon, but yeah, that's that. On to the next map. Okay, the next map we have is uh, FNAF SL, which is uh, Five Nights at Freddy's sister location. All right, so I remember watching a tutorial by a YouTuber called FedEx Gaming, who did a whole bunch of redstone stuff and creative builds. I'm pretty sure he's still around today, if you can find his channel. Can't remember from the last time I checked. But yeah, this was just based on the Five Nights at Freddy's, not just the Minecraft version of the Five Nights at Freddy's um, sister location game. So, come through here, boom. Once you go through that, you go through the vent, you crawl through, and then boom, you're brought into the main office. And you can look through, I forgot what their places are called, but the, the Ballora Gallery, I don't know. You can come to the rooms too, but it's unfinished as you can see. It's just got the stage and not the animatronics on. And this is like the foxy area. Again, stage is ready, but nothing else is in place. And this is also where I stopped, if I can even get through here. Hold on, let me break this so I'm in survival. Okay, let me come through here because I don't want to break the banners. And yeah, this is supposed to be reading to like uh, the baby, the baby room, but this is where I finished. This guess I just decided to stop one day or just got bored of doing it. But yeah, there's that. 
I did finish uh, one of his tutorials, was like working on his uh, FNAF 3 map. I didn't bother with 1 and 2, but I did do FNAF 3. Because I think it was like the quickest out of the other, other ones. But yeah, that's this map. My phone just went off. Anyway, on to the next one. Okay, now we just have a map called Hunger Games. And I had it in the natural texture pack. As you can see, as I spawn in, I was in the middle of working on it. So I have my materials here to work on it. Back in the day, I just used to make a whole bunch of Hunger Games maps because I just love PvPing. I just love Hunger Games because this is like my makeup since I couldn't download maps. I mean, I could now, but now I barely play Minecraft, which sucks. So I don't even know what the theme of this map will be. I think it's supposed to be space or like, uh, I don't know. Something to do with space or like those that place where they uh, launch rockets into space. But yeah, we have a 3, 2, 1. I think it's supposed to be for lift off. We have some chests around. It's just a pretty dark place with just a, like random lights placed around. What is this? Commander staff? Yep. This is a spawn. Mm-hmm. Just got some random places. Um, what's up here? I don't know what this is supposed to be. Flag? I don't know. And then you would come up here to like the second part of the map. Oh, there's a glass here. Come in here to the second part of the map. And this is the part I was working on. I had some parkour going on here. I don't know if I was going to close this off or just leave this open. But yep, that's the end of that. That's the map right here. So, on to the next one. Okay, the next map I have is COD Black Ops 3. I think I was trying to make like a mini game based on Black Ops 3. The funny thing is, I don't even, I never played uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I'm not like big on the Black, uh, Call of Duty games. Like the only Call of Duty games I can recall playing is Warzone, Ma, what is it, Infinite Warfare, and I think Modern Warfare. I remember playing Ghosts. And yeah, that's it for now. Oh, and I also played the, like the first Black Ops 2. But this is just supposed to be like a, another PvP type mini game. So what is this? We have the red team, we have the blue team. So I'll just break through. We have a chest with the stuff. So this is with the blue. I think it's the same stuff too. The only difference is that the helmet and the boots are like a different color. So wait to be teleported, but it was set to spawn. Let me check the other side and see if that's true. We have, yep, red team. And we just wait to teleport and it was set to spawn. What's up here? this button to come up here and I miss it so I'm just gonna break through okay what is this free-for-all wait for it to be teleported what are these okay there was chests. I was always gonna put something in here I don't know what these colors are supposed to represent let me just come up here and here's the map I guess teleport everyone inside I guess we turn today so you guys can see better here we go um, so yeah it's just another PvP map everybody just fight and shoot each other with just some random chests around and it's a team thing too so we got some course fruit we got some golden apples little fire thing here flint and steel potion golden apples it's, it's an ender pearl what's here i'm pretty sure yep this is supposed to be like an overpowered chest enchanted golden apple with a sharp five diamond sword it's ridiculous i know how to balance but yeah that's it for that let me see if i can shoot this what's this name P06. I don't even know like the name of guns. I think I just looked it up and just chose a gun name. But yeah, that's it. On to the next one. Okay, the next map we have is Bed Wars. I remember this. It was like 2017, like May 2017 probably. Like the last time I worked on this, I was with an old friend called Bad Piggy, which I don't play with anymore. Rest in peace, one of my other Xbox friends. And I think I was using this just to test the redstone. But yeah, we're going to make our own Bed Wars map, as you can see. We only made two islands. We got this, got a little look here. I think he worked on this. We have the generators, emerald generators, and what's this? Got another island here with some villagers for trading or whatever. This is supposed to work on the generators, but obviously nothing's happening. But yeah, I was using the redstone down there to test how it was going to work to work on it, but yeah. That's all it is for now. We're gonna work on Bed Wars, only got two islands done, and we never touch this world again, which sucks. All right, I looked through all the rest of the worlds, and that seems to be the last uh, unfinished uh, project world that I have. The rest are just other mini games that I finished, and survival worlds, and maps I downloaded. So that's getting enough for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys all enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, looking through memory lane with me. It was nice to look back at all these worlds, and it's kind of sad that I had them unfinished. Maybe one day I'll come back to them, but that day is very unlikely. But you never say never. Anyway, I'm so perfect, and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.